In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Intersect Mask in Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. I'll be showing this technique in Lightroom Classic, but it works identically in the mobile version of Lightroom, so you can go ahead and use either of them with this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. I have this photo here of a smoothie, and what I want to do is really add some brightness to the left side of the cup. Now I could go into the edit panel and I could kind of play around with some of these sliders, but that's going to be a global setting. And I really want to focus this in only on the left side of that mason jar. So I'll go ahead and mask it. I'm going to select the masking options in the top right, and I'll start out by choosing subject. Now the next step is to actually intersect these masks to create the final mask. Now the way intersect works is it takes two masks and wherever they overlap, that's going to be your final mask. So I'll show you how this works on this photo. You can access the intersect mask in a few different ways. If you go up to your mask, you can click the little drop down here, choose intersect mask with, and then select one of the options on the right. But the easier way to do it is to use a keyboard shortcut. Press and hold the Option or Alt key, and as I do that, you'll notice the Add and Subtract buttons become one Intersect button. So I'll go ahead and click that, and then I have those same options here to choose from, and I'm going to select Linear Gradient. Now I just need to draw my gradient, and because I want this shaded area here on the left to be my final mask, I'm going to draw my gradient over that area. So I'll start off a little to the left, click, and then start to drag. And as I go over the subject, you'll see that it kind of maintains that original mask, but wherever the gradient actually overlaps with that mask, it continues to create that mask inside of that subject. So I'll go ahead and hide the overlay. And now let's go ahead and make some changes. So over here on the right in the sliders, I'll increase the exposure a touch, and I'll increase the shadows. And if I toggle that mask off and on, you'll see that the settings are only being applied to that area. Now let's take a look at this technique with another photo. For this photo, what I'd like to do is darken the background, but I really only want to darken this part of the background. I don't want the foreground area, that blue mat, to be affected. I only want just that actual traditional background to be what's being darkened in this scene. So I'll go ahead and start out by adding a mask and I'm just going to choose background and see what Lightroom creates. And it looks like it picked up the majority of pretty much everything outside of that food item. Now let's go ahead and create the intersect mask. And this is a good candidate for it because I really only want uh, that top part of the background to be affected by this. In the mask panel, I'm going to use that keyboard shortcut. I'm going to press and hold the option or alt key and click intersect. And I'll go ahead and use a linear gradient once again. So now I just need to draw over my image. I'm going to click at the top and drag down. And if you wanna create a straight or level gradient, go ahead and hold that shift key while you're drawing it. So I'm gonna press and hold that shift key and you can see how it kind of snaps into position there. And then as I drag it down, it's making sure that the subject in the foreground is not affected by that mask. It's only overlapping with that background mask that I originally created. So I have my mask created. We can even take a peek at it with one of the other overlays. So if I click this drop down next to that little color swatch, I can change what my mask preview looks like. And for this example, I'll choose white on black. So you can see now that I only have that little section of the background there selected for my mask. Now I just need to make a few adjustments. So I'll head over to the exposure and drop it down to the left just a touch and maybe even decrease the shadows as well. And that's all there is to intersect mask. It's a really straightforward way to create a very specific mask in your image. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it. If you could like it, it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And again, if you are interested in more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great day.